In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create simple transitions inside CapCut. I'm going to show you how to make a diamond transition that looks like this. The first thing you need to do is open up CapCut and start a new project. Select Photo, and choose a photo. Any photo will do, just tap a photo and tap on Add. Scroll over and delete the default end screen. CapCut does not have a blank video square. So you have to create one. Select your photo. Swipe over and tap on Opacity. Move the slider all the way to the left. The background should look black by default, but you can change the color. Tap on the check mark. Go back to the main timeline using the left facing arrow, then choose Canvas, then choose Color, and choose a green color. Export that colored square as a video clip. Next, go back into this project and create another colored square. Tap on Canvas, then Color once more, and choose your color. I'm going to choose White. Tap your color to select it. And then export this clip as a video clip. Once the export is complete, you can tap on Done and create a new project. Tap the plus sign. And first, add the green square you just created into the main timeline. Next, move the playhead to the one second mark on this video. Make sure to delete the default end screen if you haven't already. This is a new project. Then, tap on Overlay, Add Overlay, and choose the white square that you created. This white square will appear on the green square. Pinch and zoom to shrink it down and rotate the square like this so it looks like a diamond. Then shrink it all the way down so it disappears off screen. Make it as small as you can, but don't make it so small that you can't enlarge it one more time. Next, tap on the keyframe marker to add a keyframe. A keyframe will be added to the white layer. Scrub ahead a second, and then pinch and zoom to Enlarge the diamond. Move ahead one more second and then add a keyframe. Don't make any changes. Make sure that the white layer is the same length as the green layer. Pinch and zoom like to this. resize the diamond once more. A keyframe is automatically added. You can make this transition even better by adding a sound effect to it. Tap on Audio and then tap on Effects. CapCut has a bunch of built-in sound effects that you can use. Notice the different categories listed along the top. As you tap each category, the effects change. You can also swipe left to move through the categories. You can tap a sound effect to listen to it. Tap the download arrow and then tap the plus sign once you've chosen one. It will be added to the project at the location of the playhead. Play the video until the white square fills the screen. Then select the sound effect and tap on split. This sound effect is a bit too long and since I need the sound effect to happen twice, once here and once as the white diamond disappears. I'll need to make a copy of the sound effect as it is and then place it right next to the original. Your transition now sounds like this. Scrub back and forth carefully and listen to the sound to make sure that it lines up with the visual that you see on screen. Next, tap the export icon to export this video clip. When the export is complete, you'll find the completed transition inside your camera roll. 
Now, let's use the transition in a project. Tap on the plus sign to create a new CapCut project. For the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to use five copies of the same photo. Each copy will have a different filter on it. This will allow you to see how the transition works as well as keep the main video clip as short as possible. Select your clips and then tap on Add. When you add a second clip to a CapCut project, whether it's a photo or a video, you'll notice CapCut automatically adds a transition point. From here, you can use some of the provided transitions or add your own. To add your own, just move to the transition point, tap Overlay, then Add Overlay and select your transition clip. When you tap on Add, it will be added to the project as an overlay at the location of the playhead, which should be at your first transition point. You may notice that this transition is not properly placed. To move a transition, just long press on it and drag it back to where you want it. Place the transition so that the green portion of the clip is on the left hand side of the transition point and the white portion of the clip is on the right hand side. That way when the diamond disappears off screen, you'll see the second photo. Tap on your transition clip like this so that it's selected. Then swipe over and look for the chroma key option. This is what you'll use to remove the green portion of the transition so you can see the photos behind it. Remember inside CapCut, once you choose the green color or whatever color you're removing, it does not automatically disappear. Long press and drag the color picker to select the green color and then tap on intensity and move the slider just until the green color disappears. Then you'll be able to see the photos behind your transition. To save yourself some time, just swipe over and tap on copy with the first transition selected and it will be copied. Notice that the green screen has already been removed. There's the original photo, the first filter, and the second filter. Notice as the diamond disappears, you see the next photo in the sequence. Tap on copy to copy the transition one more time. Tap on copy one more time and you'll get another copy of the same transition. That's the last transition. Each time you create a new project, you'll have to remove the default CapCut end screen. Let's play through the project one more time. There's the original photo, the photo with the first filter, the photo with the second filter, the third filter, and finally the fourth. The clip ends normally. Tap on the export button to export your clip. You can find the exported video inside your camera roll. It will be the last thing that you recorded. Let's take a look at the final result.